What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now in today's video I want to give you an update on what in the world is happening with the broad market and more specifically Bitcoin from a price perspective. Of course things have gotten quite ugly over the last 24 to 48 hours and I want to of course keep you updated on what I'm looking at here on the charts. And so with that said let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into the video. Now starting off very quickly with crypto bubbles what you can see is that things are rough. Ave is the only green crypto that we can see here on the day we have a few more and on the hourlies we have a, a decent little recovery here but in the grand scheme of things not too much is looking pretty good for us now I will let you know I actually did do an entire video talking about the fundamentals of what is going on in the crypto market over on my second channel the crypto catch-up feel free to go check that out we talked about a bunch of different metrics like interest liquidations leverage and more so make sure you do go check that out overall but I want to focus in now on the charts and just get an idea of what in the world is happening so let's first start off with total market cap then we'll go over to Bitcoin for this video. Now, looking at total market cap, what we can see here is that we are now venturing back towards the bottom side of this wedge. A few videos ago here on the channel, I told you that you needed to watch very closely what happened right here. I said, if we see total market cap and specifically Bitcoin also um, prices unable to clear not only just this resistance, which is this Fibonacci 618 to 786 box, but this descending resistance here, there is a chance that we do start to venture back towards the downside. How low? Now, of course, we knew that we could start to see Fibonacci retracements and possibly even full ventures all the way back to the bottom side of the wedge, which although isn't ideal, was very possible. And now we can see after yesterday's terrible wick, I mean, that was an ugly wick. Let's see. What was this? This was a drop in the entire market cap of crypto of nearly 7%, guys. We are now venturing back towards some of these lower levels. It seems as if total market cap is in a position in which we could possibly be retesting some key points of liquidity here. Of course, this 618 to 786 support zone, this previous zone of support from here. Let me get this marked out from here, from here and from here so of course a ton of support so it does seem as if um, we could see the total market cap bounce pretty soon or just the total market in general finally start to see a little bit of recovery but obviously that is just speculation at this given point until we actually see this happen so just laying the foundation is giving you some context of what the entire market is looking like before we now move into bitcoin and get an idea what Bitcoin is looking like. Now, guys, before we do get into that, I did actually want to tell you about today's sponsor, and we are talking about bloombeans.io. Now, the reason I wanted to bring them to the channel is because they're doing something right now that does align extremely well with my values, something that I think is needed within the world of crypto. Now, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be creating their own financial system, or at least bringing some of those older financial systems into the world of decentralization. They say that Bloombeans is a decentralized blockchain structure featuring its own currency, markets, and an array of financial products designed for contemporary use. While Bitcoin introduced the world to a decentralized currency and acts primarily as a store of value, Bloombeams aims to aims to usher in a holistic decentralized financial system. Now, they are going to be taking, of course, some inspiration from Bitcoin in the sense that a maximum of 21 million bean coins will ever be created, but they will be starting off with 1 million bean. They actually do go on to say a little bit further down in this that they expect to take up to 300 years for the full 21 million to be released because it will be a slow release over time now they are actually going to have this different dynamics as well in which they have first and foremost the interest rate dynamics they say that the higher the interest rate the bigger the Bloombeam's financial product rewards the Bloombeam system starts with a 20 percent yearly interest rate however this rate decreases by 0.1 percent each time a milestone in total amount of bean coins is reached and that's good right because you and i both know when all these companies start off with these major these huge interest rates they never last they have to fall over time in order to be sustainable that's just the fact of the the matter now on top of this they're also going to be introducing something called cfas or crypto financial assets they said that these are going to be instruments in which are similar to bond or shares they can be traded used as collateral for a loan or simply used to obtain profits just like any other financial product now we're not going to get too deep into each one but there are a few different ones there are income cfas self-loan cfas insurance cfas saving cfas and pension cfas which is a combination of saving and income at cfas and so because of that they are going to be introducing these more traditional financial systems and assets into the world of decentralization. Now, at the core of this system, they are going to be launching their own token, which will be the bean currency. Now, the bean currency is, of course, the one that is going to be starting at a million and then will go up towards 21 million. And as I mentioned before, they say here it will take up to 300 years to reach this maximum supply. Now, 
Upon the release of the 1 million, you can see here that they will allocate 70% towards airdrops, 20% towards the market liquidity, 5% to the community, and 5% towards the founder. So take that as you will. And overall, they do plan on launching this towards the end of this year between October and December, but they're hoping and aiming for October. And so because of this, there is so much that's going on. They have the bean currency, they have the bloom token, and which is currently live now. And so because of this, and it, won't, it doesn't have utility, as you can see, but it can be exchanged for the bean currency when it does come out. And so they have so much going on and of course i would love to talk even more about them here on the channel but i just wanted to introduce them to you today get a feel for what you thought about them does this seem like something that aligns with what you, you what you like your moral values within the world of crypto and more so definitely know down in the comment section below how do you feel about this project is this something you would invest in more i can't wait to hear from you down there but overall let's finish up with talking about bitcoin and getting a feel for exactly what is happening today so what we can see is again yes bitcoin very similarly to total market cap did see a major rejection off of not only just the 618 to 786 Fibonacci zone but also the top side of our descending wedge and I did not mean to open that there we go off of the top side of our descending wedge now I told you in the last Bitcoin video I said listen something very important is happening right now we were talking about the fact that Bitcoin's price was coming back down to this little key point of support right here and I said that if Bitcoin loses support and is unable to hold 63.4 63.5 thousand do expect that this thing could easily continue back towards 60 to 59 thousand dollars and guys this is what is happening we saw bitcoin's price hit that 60.3 60.2 thousand dollar level right down towards the zone in which we figured it could now the reason we expected that bitcoin could make this move if it lost support here was quite simply just due to the fact that this is its bottom side fibonacci zone it happens time and time and time again guys in which if you bounce off the of fibonacci zone to the top side you come back down to the fibonacci zone to the bottom side and then if you lose that zone you continue back towards your more fundamental macro structure which looks like Bitcoin coming back down towards $50,000 to retest the bottom side of this wedge, but I'm not quite sure that that's going to happen yet. But we did expect because of the way in which this typically happens that Bitcoin could start coming back down towards these levels, and that's exactly what's happening. Now, because of the fact that Bitcoin is getting closer and closer and closer to these levels, and I would actually be willing to say that we've seen Bitcoin reach it. it just kind of depends on the chart you're looking at because when I was looking at my other BTC USD on Kraken exchange it actually was reaching this level but overall you can see within a couple hundred bucks we are now interacting with that liquidity which does make a lot of sense as to why the hourly charts are starting to pop back up to the upside here it does seem as if we are maybe trying to find some support and so what I would go ahead and say now is that we are at another deciding moment is Bitcoin's price going to be able to sustain some support on top of all of this liquidity guys if I clear off this chart let me just show you this real quick if I just clear off this chart, look how much liquidity is here. Let me just draw all these horizontals. Horizontal there, horizontal there, boom, one there, one there, one there, and there. Now that I've drawn, these are all the levels that we have found some support in which we've been able to use to bounce back to the upside. Look how much freaking liquidity is sitting in this zone between $56,000 and $61,000. And then when you consider the fact that your micro 618 to 786 Fibonacci zone is also sitting in that thing, the fact that your daily Bollinger Bands are also already overextended and would be sitting in that thing, the fact that we have all of this, it does seem to me as if Bitcoin has a damn good chance of finding some support between now and, of course, that $56,000 dollar threshold and so of course because of that what i've decided to do and as i did of course mention as i mentioned before over on the crypto catch-up this morning is that i am going to be averaging into bitcoin i am going to be buying some bitcoin right now because sure although it can continue lower and we could see this thing do something like this and we might see it fall another eight to ten percent to the downside i don't care because at the end of the day i'm looking for macro moments in which it seems like it's a good idea to buy and that's what it looks like to me we have a ton of support the fundamentals and the metrics are showing over a to the downside our daily bollinger bands are overextended our rsi on the daily chart is showing some shines of strength right now we're not getting any bearish divergence we're moving in tandem with the price which is healthy we're seeing all of these things happen our four hour rsi is already extended and not only extended is giving us bullish divergence look at this low lower low into a high higher low bam right there bearish our bullish divergence already forming on the four hour charts all of these things going to show that we could see bitcoin's price start to hold some support soon and that's what i'm betting on and so because of that what i've gone ahead and done guys is i did buy a little bit of bitcoin i added some more of it to my macro holding i'm not going long on leverage i'm not comfortable doing that in this market because liquidations are so high right now but i am personally adding it to my long-term bag because i am confident that this will serve in the long term as a great buying opportunity and so because of that 
I wanted to share that with you today, give you a little context, talk about what the macro market was doing and the fact that everything was pulling back, reaching some of these key zones of liquidity, tell you about our sponsor, Bloombeams, and then finally tell you a little bit about why I am buying Bitcoin, because the likelihood of a bounce at these major support levels is very high, and I want to take a bet on that. And so with that said, guys, you know I will continue to update you here several times a day, multiple times a day on Bitcoin, Solana, Render, Jasmine, and much more. And all I ask from you is just subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it. But I can't wait to see you all later on today in a few more vids. And I can't wait to see you next time. Peace out, everybody.